Hey guys, uh, I'm just going to go over setting up your PT level uh, wireless using an iPhone instead of an Android. Unfortunately, we don't have an iOS app out yet, but this is still a simple procedure without one. Uh, we should have one soon enough. Uh, so to begin, you have your PT level receiver. This device here, uh, whether you're installing it new, you would plug in anywhere that you have Wi-Fi signal within your house. You can hide it somewhere, put it by your router, whatever works. So here I'm just gonna indicate how to plug it in, just like that. And uh, you should let it power up. You'll see a power light and a blue status light. The blue status light should be blinking three times uh, every 30 seconds or so. Uh, that indicates that it is not connected to your home Wi-Fi yet. That is what I'm gonna show you now. So on our uh, uh, Apple phone, what we want to do is find the settings icon. So once you find that, open that up. You should come across this list here. You want to select Wi-Fi. And what it'll do then is uh, search for any devices that are broadcasting a Wi-Fi signal. So we see the PT level and a bunch of numbers. Those numbers don't mean anything, but uh, they'll be different across all the different devices. So just select that in order to connect to it. Let the phone connect to the signal and you should see a check mark to the left of it and it'll tell you that it is an unsecured network with no internet. Those are, that is totally fine. Hit your home button, open up your browser, either Chrome or Safari or whichever browser you use, and then in the address bar you want to type in 192.168.4.1. Which I already have here, and then hit go, and you should see the Wi Fi Connect screen. From here on, it's just a step by step procedure, uh, just follow the steps. So, here you go connect to your Wi Fi, and it should show up with your home Wi Fi signals. So, you choose the one you want the device to use, and then here we put in a password. If you don't have a password and it's an open Wi Fi, don't put one in. But otherwise, in this case, we're going to put in our password, which is a very simple one here. If you spell this incorrectly, uh, the device won't connect, but you just simply try again. So once you have the password in, hit connect. And you should see this screen. And you give it a few moments to let it connect to your home Wi-Fi. Um, and you get this screen, which means it was successful. Now, if uh, you don't see this screen and it continues to connect a whole bunch of times, check the status light on the receiver. If it stops just like this and doesn't blink three times anymore, um, then you know that it connected either way because sometimes it doesn't show this screen. Uh, then once you've got this, uh, you're ready to go with proceeding to add it to your online account. If you haven't created an account, you create one. But what you can also do there's an ID, the ID of the device is there, you can copy that. Or you can then disconnect from the PT level signal, which we can go back to settings and do. And forget. And we should be back on an internet connection. We open up a browser, go to ptdevices.com. All this is outlined in your instructions as well but here's where you would create an account or log in and once you have got it into your account you click on add device from the menu add in the ID of the device which is in your instructions on the back of your receiver or what you copied from the successful connection screen and once you've done that you should be good to go with continuing adding in the settings and calibrating device and basically enjoying uh, the, uh, the features of the device. That's all.